To install OpenShot, if you have admin rights, go to the website of OpenShot, openshot.org, go to the download page and click the Windows 64-bit installer, or perhaps you need the 32-bit one, not me, or perhaps you need an OS X version, then you just download this one file, or Linux downloads also available, app images, you can run these without installing as well. There are also daily builds, which are a bit complicated. First you pick the operating system, then you click nightly builds. So you could get, for example, OpenShot dev so-and-so. You can check the date here. Let's do that. So now we have these two files. Both are installers. If you run them, you need admin rights, which might be a problem. If you have admin rights, you can just install like this, agree, click through, Continue, maybe you want a desktop icon, continue, and wait for it to finish. This dev version is also an installer that also needs admin rights. I'm not gonna give it to it, because I don't trust dev versions enough to be installed. Meanwhile, this one finished, and we can launch it, or just wait for the icon to be clicked. Well, and here it is. But now let's take a look at the situation where you don't have admin rights, but still want to use it. Get Inno Extract. I have a link to this and to OpenShot in the description of this video. Go to the download page, download the Inno Extract Windows binaries, and then extract these, right click and extract all and extract. Okay, and then you can just copy this, right click, copy and paste it in here. And then just drag the exe file, the exe file installer that you want to unpack without installing. I'm gonna unpack the dev version because I'm actually curious what it is like. You will have to agree to run Inno Extract. Hopefully you have the rights to do that. There might be Windows versions where you can't do that, like Windows S or something like that. And then you just wait for this nice percentage to reach 100. Oh, dragging stuff around here pauses it, so press enter if you do. All right, it unpacks into the app folder, so you might want to rename that folder to whatever the exe file or installer was called. Let's get in here. And here we have the openshot-qt.exe. I'm gonna just create a shortcut and I'm gonna also call it like this, except I'm not going to call it that long, I'm just calling it dev1. Alright, here we go. So I'm going to run this by double clicking it, and it should also run. I'm not going to give it uh, internet rights. Yeah, here it is. It's running. And it should work perfectly fine without having to install it. And now you can start making your videos. Check out my OpenShot beginner tutorial that might help you get started. And subscribe if you think that my future videos might be useful to you as well. Until next time, ciao!